Hello and welcome again. So we are moving forward to page 147. Initially, we were in the previous lecture, we have talked, we were on page 146 talking about this Lyme disease. Now we will be talking about this another species of this uh, spirochids that is, we have talked about this Borrelia and we will talk about this Leptospira. So Leptospira, talking about this species, more commonest is the Leptospira interrogans and these are the most common spirocyte found all over the world but mainly if you are talking about the United States of America this is less common disease but they are have been reported from the Hawaii Strait. So let's uh, go to the uh, text Leptospira interrogans that is the spirochete with the hook sap and found in the contaminated water contaminated with the animal urine. So these are the spirochete where we can find at the end of the this spirochete there is the hook like appearance which is the you can see the question mark like appearance okay and that's that is due to the hook shape ends and they are usually infection occurs usually from a contaminated from the water sources or the places where animal where human get exposed from a contaminated urine of infected animal. So how we can develop disease? We can develop disease if we get contact to the water sources. That water sources should be contaminated with the urine of urine with the infected animal. So the infected animal pass this bacteria through urine into the contaminated water or say contaminated soil. And if we get exposed to that soil or water, then that organism pass to our uh, if it, it cutaneous surfaces and then enter into our cell, cell and then causes the disease mainly affecting the what there is a two form leptospirosis and will disease the leptospirosis is the initial stage whereas the will's disease is the advanced stage that is the name is different but the disease is same only the early stage and the late stage early stage you can see the flu like symptoms there is the myalgia especially of the calf muscles so there is a flu like syndrome myalgia jaundice involving your liver photophobia with conjunctival, conjunctival suffocation so there will be the erythema without exuder. So there will be a red eye but there is no discharge. So you have flu-like syndrome, your body is paining, mainly the calf muscles, you have jaundice, you have photophobia and conjunctival suffusion, uh, suffusion in the initial stage that is known as the leptospirosis. Prevalent among the sufferers and in tropics. So these are mainly common from the Hawaii. It can it is common in the tropical country like Nepal India so tropical country it is very common but in, in, in United States of America also there have been reports from the Hawaii and that you have to remember if you are not going to treat this disease they will progress and then progress and reach into the Welsh disease Welsh disease is a icterohemorrhagic leptospirosis this is the advanced stage serious complication and severe form with jaundice and azotema so there is a jaundice liver damage and azotema due to renal damage so there is a severe form of this leptospirosis which is known as the wills disease is called the icterohemorrhagic leptospirosis and there we can form the jaundice and azotema from liver and kidney dis dis kidney dysfunction so there is a in wills disease there you will form jaundice and azotema due to the shutdown of your liver and kidney and there will be the other complication like fever hemorrhage and anemia so this is the this disease you can found in tropical region in united states it is less common so there is a less chance of oxing in unit a uh, us family but it will commonly ask in uh, in trans exam all over the world mdms in trans exam all over the world so that you have to understand okay talking about this um, bacteria you can see over here this leptospira interrogans this is from the kaplan book where you can see they have the distinguished feature like a spirochete with the tight terminal end hooks or coil i have showed you the question mark point hook end and they can seen only on the dark field microscopic but not on the light microscope and can be cultured and can be cultured in vitro aerobic generally diagnosed by the serology so we prefer serological for diagnosis and diagnosis is done normally by this microagglutination test tester. okay so this is called a mat or otherwise we can go for the pcr transmission uh, this is reservoir wild and domestic animal zoonosis transmission contact with animal urine and water so animal urine should get contaminated in water and that water if we get con contact then organism penetrates the mucous membrane or enter the small breaks in the epidermis so they can enter your mucous membrane or small dermis in the epidermis in us also they have been found in the dog livestock and rat urine through contaminated recreational water jet skiers or occupational exposure sewer worker so the people who has more found of recreational water like jet skier or have bound to 
get contaminated with, with water like this occupational exposure in that person if there is water that water has been contaminated with the urine of this rat livestock or dog they can secrete this leptospira enterogens into that water and that can enter inside your body through the cracks of your epidermis or mucosal membrane and you get that disease the hawaii is the highest incidence rate pathogenesis there is no toxin no virulence factor disease is called leptospirosis that is uh, of swine heart disease swamp or mud fever that is disease will present like the influenza like symptom in initial stage with gi tract symptoms is the wills disease if it is a severe form this is known as the this will leads to wills disease initially is leptospirosis if not treated can progress to the hepatitis and renal failure coming to the diagnosis we can diagnose this by sero diagnosis agglutination test that is the micro agglutination test microscopic agglutination test our culture can be done on the blood and csf or urine available in the few labs the best way is to diagnose dark field microscopic but they are insensitive test treatment will be penicillin or, or doxycycline will the treatment of drug of choice if you want to prevent the prevention is done by doxycycline for the short term exposure vaccination for domestic livestock and pets and rat control so there are doxycycline prophylaxis can be given even we can vaccinate our domestic pets and stocks and there should be a rat control so this disease although less likely to be asked in the us family but it is important for the tropic region and even if they are talking about the influenza like symptom with gi symptom and there is occupational or recreational exposure to water, water related to the hawaii then you should understand they are talking about this uh, leptospirosis or wills disease due to the lepto leptospira interrogans and this has the spiro kit with terminal hook so we have done with the uh, the what we called capillary book as well let now let's uh, see some of the picture of leptospira is a genus of spirochet bacteria including a small number of pathogenic and spirochet species they can destroy mainly the uh, leptospira bacterium was described as as having died of yellow fever so they will develop jaundice fever and what we say all these features so we call that you see the organism the organism can be seen over here and they can they have have the this terminal question mark appearance or terminal in or terminal hook that you have to understand they can actually have a mammary disorder you can see the rodent soil water and vegetation wild animals they will cause you the leptospirosis when they transmit this bacteria through the urine and then they will develop you the mainly the fever with renal and hepatic failure and that you have to understand so mammalian reservoirs this uh, uh, free living spiral leptospira leptospira in urine uh, urine they can risk factor painting hunting grunting this all are respecting mainly is the contaminated waters if you get contact contact with it then we will develop this disease the organism can be seen on the dark field microscopic so that will be the not they are not seen in the light microscope microscope that you have to understand the diagnosis can be done by if it is initial acute stage we can do the blood culture or pcr if it is the greater than 7 days we go for the rapid test in rapid test if it is negative we repeat in 3 days if positive we do the microscopic agglutination test this is the mat if negative we can repeat again if positive so the titer if titer is high the diagnosis is confirmed it is low we repeat the rising titer and then we diagnose the disease the diagnosis this disease mat is called microagglutination test or microscopic agglutination test the microscopic agglutination test is performed incubating the patient serum with various serovirus of the lepto leptospirus that mac 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 mat titer is obtained by testing various serum dilution with the positive serovirus the serovirus that reacts with the patient serum is suggested to be infective serovirus and that person is get infected so from diagnostic initial stage we can do blood culture or pcr late stage we go for the sero diagnosis in sero diagnosis we use mat that is macroscopy agglutination test for confirmation of this leptospirosis leptospirosis if you say this is actually a disease of a patient developing fever and when we we have initially known discuss about this this is the leptospirosis is the flu like symptom with myalgia jaundice photophobia and conjunctival uh, suffocation patient suffer in the tropics region if you are not treating they will goes to the this wills disease this is rectal hemorrhagic leptospirosis where there will be the jaundice hepatic failure renal failure azotemia fever hemorrhage and anemia so wills disease leptospirosis and the organism need to be remember that will be all for today thank you